Tonight, we have for you a brand new True Stories. It's a special edition of True Stories Radio. We're live on location at Zyak Studio. I said that correctly. Yes, we got Q and Ali. I said that correctly. And we're here to talk to these young dudes right here, young gentlemen. They're doing a great service for the children out there. They provide studio time for a lot of kids out there. They show them how to use equipment. Also, a lot of influential individuals have come here to record tracks. You know, you told me that Mav Hopper, that's the battle rapper that smacked the dude on Smack DVD. You know, they had Boom P. You can catch him on a Smack DVD. Name a couple other people you've had through your studios. Mike Q. Mike Hands, Donnie Yardis. Mm -hmm. Freaking Allis Michaels. Allis Mike. Oh, that's my dude. Yeah, G the K. G the K. Rod Dollar. Rod Dollar. Last mm -hmm. Poets. Last Poets. All the Mashanti. Mm -hmm. Bill Youngs. We just did some of the murder. We just did some of the Bleak. G Bailey's whole squad. Mm -hmm. So the resume stick, man. I mean, yeah, the whole, yeah, the streets is with us. You know what I'm saying? So right here, we're here at Zyak Studios. And the reason why we're here is not to talk about, you know, he's gonna let you know how to get in contact with his studios if you wanna get them proper records. You know, cause your records gotta sound nice for the radio. Otherwise, it's not gonna play. But right now, he currently has a situation with the city. You know, he's also been featured in the Daily News. So, you know, we're gonna talk about this. So. Please explain to the people out there, Q and Ali, what's your situation right now in terms of your studio, man? Well, basically, it all started with us saying that, you know, we're not going to sit back and kiss anybody's ass to get on. All right. We said we're going to do what we know is what we're marketing. We went mm -hmm. out there and said we're going to get some flyers and hit the streets. And we started with eight and a half inch by 11 inch, eight by 11 inch flyers like this. Promoting your studio, right? Promoting the studio on, like, if you're from Brooklyn, you've seen our stuff on, like, Pose. Mm -hmm. All over Brooklyn College, we all over the style, all over East New York, Red Hook. Name any project in Brooklyn, we around it. And and I, from our side, we're going hard. You know, we're doing what we taught to do. We're not selling drugs, we're not robbing. We said, look, we're going to promote our services and use our talent to get out there. In the midst of that, you know, even before getting there, when I met him, that's the whole plan it was. You know, when we bought our equipment, when we got a team together, we said, look, we're not going to the labels, we're not going to our mothers, we're going to marketing. You know, once we get marketing, we're able to change our lives. And, you know, through marketing, I, 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 Many things have changed. You know, we opened up our second studio. Our names is out there. We pushing. You know, finances is at a different level, but also comes with a different level of, of hate. And that form of hate came with the city. The city said that they just now got it to us, and they attempted to mail us letters five times. We never received any. We received 47 letters on one day. So I'm assuming that they should have received something. I don't know. Typically, when somebody sends mail and it doesn't get delivered, we get one of these saying that we gotta go pick it up. I don't know if we received any of that. Nothing is labeled, nothing is named. So we don't know. And as soon as we got it, we responded by calling them. We called up some legal attorneys. We also went to the daily news and different forms of media, such as True Stories, and we just hit up to the streets and said, look, we need the people to support us because in a time of recession, you can't be coming at small businesses. Forget small business, you can't come at dudes who are from your hood, from your urban connections, people that come from your public schools, who ate your school lunch, who read your books, who listened to all the BS that y'all told us about going to school and getting jobs and all that other stuff. And we said, nah, we're going to see past the BS. We're going to take our artistic skills. We're going to take it to the streets and we're going to give back to the streets. We're going to empower our people, empower ourselves. And part of that part of that mission comes with overcoming stuff like this. And that's why, you know, we're here on this radio getting interviewed right now because we need the support of our streets, of all the artists, all the small businesses to say, like, look, council members, major corporations, Arizona iced tea, energy drinks, they can afford to hit up on light poles, and that's why this stuff is all over light poles. For everybody else who sees it, they're gonna assume mm -hmm. that it's legal, but they don't know that these people are just basically paying for advertising space. So the article saying the same thing, they, they right. lightened it up a little differently. I give it to them fairly. You know, they just put it one, two, but for us, you know, it's more or less stressing the fact that we're not just a music studio. You know, we take our services and we empower the community, whether it be it through and mostly through teaching our youth and ourselves how to properly offer services on a professional level. You know, I've only been doing music four years and I'm completely second life off of music. My partner here's life has changed since he came to New York on video. The young dude in Gucci, you saw in the front, he's only 18 years old. Chapters just graduated, we just helped him get his GED. Like, all of this is there. We've helped almost five, six people get their GED. The people that come here off the street and it's like, look, I just need somewhere to be at you. And let me just be around y'all and take on part of your lifestyle. And it's this type of stuff that we as a community, people, 
entertainers gotta yeah. protect this, you know what I mean? There's not much, there's not anybody doing it like this. Most people rather sit in their house and beg some label to get them on. We rather, you know, put that strong back to work and get it to where we need to be. I mean, the Daily News, thank, thank God for, you know, have, having them write up an article for us. But it's more, it's more than that. It's more than that. It's really about, it's really about the people that come here and not even just a positive environment for them to be in, but a positive creative environment because a lot of people don't have that, um, have that support mm. to really, to, uh, they don't have, you know, somebody to really foster that creative support, which especially, you know, in times like this, we really need, we really need. So just, just being, just being there to foster that support and that creative support, um, I mean that's that's what's most important important to us right now. You guys, are you gonna guys gonna pay the fines or is it gonna be like we're gonna fight? I mean, fight right off the back is fighting. Or beyond to... beyond the fact that they improperly notified us, one, mm -hmm. it's a form of social entrapment. You see what I mean? If you don't want people to do certain things, you publicize that to them. You don't want me to walk up that staircase, you put a do not enter sign or you put a gate up. You don't leave the entire city since it started with light poles with the ability to put light poles up and never put anything public saying that you can't do it. And then you have all of your leaders, Obama, Pollen, everyone that McCain, was running McCain yeah. had posters over everything. So it's misleading. They're gonna come around and just spread their name. I'm promoting, we're promoting our service so that we can change ourselves. He paid for his school kids. I pay my rent for this. Gucci, Texas, chapters, they Travis, they eat from us. We're not going around selling crack. We could have been easily selling crack. Same method, just putting it to the street. Nah, we're putting it to our hearts. Something that was robbed from our community in mm -hmm. so many ways. And so if they want to think that they're gonna, we're going to take it laying down, believe me. And many people in our community has been trapped before. It ain't nothing. We're going to get out of this. People out there that's looking for studio time, where can they hit Zyak Studio at? at? Well, before y'all even go to our site, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go to our site, but y'all go on to two, radio, two story radios right now. Y'all hit them up first. And you call them up first, you get an hour free studio time. Guaranteed. You hear that? You hit up True Stories Radio and 576 Productions because they're powering this interview. If you hit them up and you say you saw the Zyax interview with Q and Ali, he'll guarantee you a one hour. Three hours studio, three hours studio. Live here at Syac Studio with Q and Ali. And for the NYC commission out there, the NYC public officials, leave these guys alone because they're doing a great service for the community right now. You know what I'm saying? They're putting out quality music. They're giving artists a chance to put out quality music. So that way, when I go to the club, I can get a free lap. Dance. I, you know what I'm saying? We might edit that. But I, I, you know what I'm saying? I feel I'm with you. <laughs> yes, sir. True Stories of Radio.